wait until you see the mess I've got to deal with. Luckily, I have the TYM T474. But uh, let me show you what's going on here. I live in rural Idaho, about 5,100 feet, and we just have a shitload of snow this year. And it's slowly been getting compacted, and today it warmed up, and the slush is just brutal. So, I'm going to try to dig this up a little bit, because my little car almost got stuck getting out of here. And it's just going to be a mess. So I'm going to try to shove it up here, put it with the rest of these snow banks. Yeah, I know, there's going to be a lake there, but we get one every year, and this house is equipped with a sump pump. So this should be kind of fun. I'll video record it, and I'll speed it up a little so you don't have to watch all the boring stuff. All right, let's fire up Old Blue. I'll tell you what, this thing has been worth its weight in gold. I absolutely love this tractor. If you're in the market and you're researching it, this one is about half the price I would have paid for a Kubota with no cab and half the lifting capacity, half the horsepower. This thing has just been a beast. It comes standard with Bluetooth radio, heater, air conditioner, Check out all the vents. I mean, this thing is just a sweetheart. It's got cruise control, manual or auto PTO, windshield wiper, front and rear. This thing's just a sweetheart. I highly recommend this bad boy. I take good care of my stuff. I think they recommend 10 minutes for it to heat up, so. When that reaches about 165 temperature, we're going to get going. Here's a cool trick some of the other TYM reviews probably aren't going to show you, but this heater and this thing's badass, and you actually get sweaty in a t-shirt even when it's below zero outside. But if you run the AC while running the heater, it takes all the condensation out of the air, and your windows go back to normal. It also comes standard with a... Uh, well, a holder in case you want to bring a six pack of pop or something. I'm on private property so I can do whatever the hell I want. As you can see, it just pushed through that saturated snow like it was nothing. I mean, that is completely soaked snow, and it didn't even matter. Uh, the bucket struggled getting down through the ice, but after I put down the rear blade, it went through fine. A couple of specs on that thing. It has 4,700 horsepower, and it has 2,100 lift capacity. Tad more, but I love the thing. I totally recommend it. 